everyone and welcome to this Scratch Junior tutorial. This is tutorial number six where we'll be making a character dribble a basketball. So let's start a new project. For this one we're going to keep Scratch the cat so we don't need to remove it but we need a different background so let's select our basketball background. Let's use this one here. Press the tick. We need another character and that's our basketball so go over to your left side and choose the basketball as our other character. There it is and press the tick. We need to move both our characters so that they're in the, the starting position so let's move them, put them here say in the circle and the ball probably needs to be just under Scratch's hand, just there. Now we've got lots of code for this one. We're going to start with our Scratch the Cat code. So select Scratch. And we want Scratch to start on the green flag. So drag that into your programming area. And we want to move Scratch across the screen this way. So we're going to look for a right facing arrow, which is this one. We're just going to change this number here to 12 and we'll see what happens with that one. And that's it, we want to end it. And now we get to code our basketball. Now our basketball will have some of the same code as Scratch the Cat. I'm going to show you a really quick cheat. With our code that's in the cat, we can pinch it, grab it with our finger and drag it to our basketball. You can see that the outside of this box turns yellow and let it go. The code will drop back to the programming area for the cat and when I select the basketball you'll see that the code's been copied there. So when I press the green flag you'll see both characters move across the screen together. Let's press the restart button. But we need to shoot the basketball in the hoop as well so we need a bit of extra code for the ball. So again let's get a green flag to start the code and just pop it in the programming area. And we need a movement block that let's use the hop because that will throw the ball up in the air and then down again and let's change this to a one and for this one we need a repeat block so let's grab an orange repeat block and it's already got a four there so we're going to leave that to see if it works and an end code block so we've got two lots of code for the basketball and just one for the cat. So let's press the green flag to see what happens. Excellent, so you see that the basketball is dribbled right to the end of the court. So it's your turn to have a go now, but can you make the cat shoot the ball into the basket? And what else can you make with two characters moving at the same time? Thanks for watching and remember you can find this easy to follow version of the tutorial by visiting the Scratch Junior website which is linked in the description below. Until next time, happy coding!